Have you ever wanted to make a tycoon like this one from Roblox? But in core, well, I got you covered. I will be showing you how to use my tycoon kit in core to make a game similar to the one shown here. If you don't know what core is, it's kind of like Roblox but a lot better. If you want to check it out, use my link in description. To start off, you will want to go to community content and download the tycoon kit. The main issue with this kit is that it doesn't work with multiplayer so if you use it make your game single player, I am working on a more advanced kit so rest assured. Make sure you have player storage enabled for the save system which I will talk more about later in the video but it is necessary to watch everything else as there is a lot of stuff that you need to know. First let's talk about how to customize the block. The value on the parent doesn't do anything so that can be ignored, instead go to the child name block 1. That is where you can change the value. You can change the size and material as well but do not change the name as that will cause it to break. If you have other models you want to add onto the block move them as a child to the block but make sure that their name is not block 1. Making a custom conveyor belt path is a bit hard so I will leave that for later, instead I will go over how to use your new block with a new spawner for it. All credit goes to fear the dev for this object spawner script. Here you can change the spawn delay and the amount of time in between spawns. You can also change the block that is spawned as well if you wish. You can also add purchases for new things such as droppers or buildings and such. Make sure that for each one you add you increase the ID custom property by one.
Okay, so now let's talk about how to create a custom path for your conveyor belt. Grab one of the belts already there, then there should be a script which has a direction custom property under a trigger. You would set the vector 3 to the direction in which you want the block to move. Follow along my steps with how I use the triggers as well. Another thing about these buy triggers is that they don't have to be spawning spawners or anything, they can spawn whatever, let's do a building as an example. You can move where the object spawns at by moving the weapon guide object. That is where it will spawn. Now let's talk about a save system. Go to the pastebin link in description or the readme file and copy paste that code into an empty script and then drag that script into your game. That will handle save. Also I know some of you will ask about only making it so that buy triggers only show up after the one before was bought, so I will add that into my advanced tycoon kit which will likely take me a few months to make so stay tuned.
Okay guys, that is it and thanks for watching, if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments.